Welcome back to Smash or Pass Wisdom Edition. Today's guest is Gloria, a self-made millionaire, philanthropist, and full-time manipulation goddess. Gloria, how are you? I'm fabulous, darling. I just finished my sixth divorce and working on my seventh now. So these types of VO3 skits are hilarious. The cool thing is there is a ton of ways to monetize this type of content, which I go into a lot more detail about the monetization side of things in the Creator Secrets community on school. So you can check that out with the link down in the description below if you want. But when it comes to these viral VO3 videos, first I'm gonna show you the tools, the workflow, the prompts. Let's take a look. And so the first tool you'll need is this one right here called BitBuzz.io. And again, this is highly important if you want to create content that has the highest odds of being successful. You don't wanna just make guesses. You don't wanna reinvent the wheel. Instead, you want to look at what's already working and then just spice it up with your own twist. So here in VidBuzz, these are all of the most viral niche categories for AI content creators. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open this one, the AI vlogs and skits, because as of right now, these are all generally done with VO3. I'll go ahead and click the most viral over the last seven days. And now we can see these are all of the most viral VO3 skits and stuff like that. So let's check out this one right here. What's your biggest fear? Marrying a fucking loser who makes me go 50-50, work a nine to five, then go home to do all the cooking, cleaning, and childcare. Should women marry for love or money? Marry for money, honey. You can always learn to love the private. So these are pretty funny with these gold digger old ladies. And so coming here to the actual Instagram account, we can see that that video is showing actually 9.4 million views on the actual Instagram account. Now, the other interesting thing right off the bat here is that for whatever reason, they formatted this video to be vertical uh, versus all of the other videos that are formatted to be horizontal. So we can see that the one that they actually took the time to format specific to the Instagram platform has achieved the highest results by far. Now that could be coincidence, but just something to take into consideration. In any case, coming back to VidBuzz right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this clip right here. And now coming down to this little icon, I'll just go ahead and paste that screenshot here and upload it to the image library. And now I can just come to the paintbrush and this is gonna bring us to the AI canvas. And so now clicking this little button, I'm gonna select this screenshot and then I can just click this button to generate a prompt based off that screenshot. I'll go ahead and switch the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and I'll change the model to image in four. And now I just have to click this little button right here to generate the image. All right, so here is the image that we ended up with, but now I'm gonna add a few modifications here. So I'm saying make it so she has heart-shaped sunglasses and a little white dog in her purse. The dog also has heart-shaped sunglasses and make it so the vehicle in the background is a hot pink Tesla Cybertruck. So now clicking this blue button, it's going to rewrite the prompt with all of those modifications. Here's the new prompt, let's see if it works. Okay, cool, so here is the new image and it's definitely added everything that I've asked for, but I'm just gonna generate a few more to see some other options here. So after a few more iterations, I ended up with this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead with this one. Okay, so the next step, I came into ChatGPT and I said, please write a funny and vulgar skit. A young, handsome college man is interviewing an elder woman who is a gold digger and made her fortune from exploiting vulnerable men. So just from that, it already came out with a pretty good baseline uh, script right here saying, welcome back to Smasher Pass Wisdom Edition. Today's guest is Gloria Vanderpump, self-made millionaire, philanthropist, and full-time manipulative goddess. Now, I'm not necessarily gonna use this word for word, but this is a good baseline. So now I can just go ahead and create my little skit. And so now coming into VO3, I'm gonna click new project. And right here, I'm gonna switch this to frames to video. Now for the prompt, all I'm gonna do is come back to VidBuzz and I'm gonna grab the prompt that we were using from VidBuzz. And I'm just gonna bring that into VO3, paste it in here. And then just coming back into ChatGPT, I'm gonna grab this line of the script right here, come back into VO3. And right here where it says a strikingly handsome and muscular college man serving as an interviewer, I'm just gonna add says, and now I'm just going to paste that piece of the script. So now it says a strikingly handsome muscular college man serving as an interviewer says, welcome back to Smash Your Pass, Wisdom Edition, et cetera, et cetera. And now what I wanna do is click this little plus button, and then I can just click here to upload the image that I created from VidBuzz. So I'll add that here. And now I just have to come down and click generate. Now this might get censored because it is a little bit edgy, but let's see what happens. 
Okay, so the problem here is that I'm getting censored because apparently it thinks that my characters are a prominent uh, person, some sort of famous person. Now I can just go ahead and remove the image altogether and use text to video, but the problem with that is that we need to retain consistent characters throughout the entire video. And so that's why it's important to use a starting image for this. And so coming back into VidBuzz, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this other image right here. So I'll replace the image with the new one here, which by the way, real quick, if you've ever wanted to test AI tools and basically do exactly what I'm doing here on this Creator Secrets YouTube channel, right now I am looking for a full-time content creator. So like it says here, if you've ever wanted to be a paid content creator without the long, painful grind of starting your own channel, this is for you. I'm looking for a full-time end-to-end content creator for the Creator Secrets YouTube channel. So if this sounds like something you might be interested interested in, I'll have the link to this down in the description below so you can check it out and apply. Okay, so after replacing the image, I ended up with this clip right here. Welcome back to Smasher Pass Wisdom Edition. Today's guest is Gloria, a self-made millionaire, philanthropist, and full-time manipulation goddess. Gloria, how are you? So if you want to know the exact prompt that I used for that one, you can go ahead and just take a screenshot of this prompt right here. Now, I should also note that I always use VO3 fast because as we can see here, each generation uses 20 credits. However, if you're using VO3 quality, each generation will use 100 credits. Now, I've found that VO3 fast is pretty much just as good as VO3 quality. The differences are very, very minimal. So using VO3 fast allows you to play around and generate a lot of different variations without burning through all of your credits really quickly. So now coming back into ChatGPT once again, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to canvas mode and I'm gonna say turn to canvas. Okay, and once ChatGPT switches into canvas mode, then you're actually able to edit uh, this document. Obviously you don't have to use ChatGPT for this. You can just copy and paste this thing into a Word document or whatever you want so that you can edit it. So again, I think this is a great starting script, but at this point I'm just gonna go through and kind of put my own touches into this and tweak some of the lines around and stuff like that. Okay, and then all I'm doing here is after I'm making these edits and tweaks, I'm just taking these lines of script, coming back into VO3 and just modifying the prompt a little bit with the new line of script. So then we end up with something like this. I'm fabulous, darling. I just finished my sixth divorce and working on my seventh now. <laughs> Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my clips here into Premiere Pro. So I have the first clip here with the guy talking. Welcome back to Smasher Pass Wisdom Edition. And then the second clip with Gloria talking. I'm fabulous, darling. Now the first thing that I need to do is change this into an Instagram aspect ratio. So I'm gonna come right here to my video project and go to sequence settings. Now again, right here I'm using Premiere Pro, but changing the aspect ratio of your project is possible in just about every video editor, whether you're using CapCut or DaVinci or whatever you use. In this case, all I have to do is basically reverse these numbers right here. So I'm going to change this one to 720 and I'm going to change this one to 1280 and that's it. I'll hit OK. So now we can see that it changed the aspect ratio on my video file right here. So I'm just going to basically size this up and crop it and move it where I want. So we're obviously starting out with the guy as the speaker right here. Gloria, a self-made millionaire, philanthropist and full-time manipulation goddess. Gloria, how are you? Now I'm also gonna add just a little bit of movement here. So in this case, I'm gonna come up to the effects controls. I'm gonna click position and scale to set the keyframes. Now again, no matter what editor you're using, whether it's CapCut or anything else, most editors have the ability to use keyframes. So if you don't know how to do this, you'll simply wanna look up how to use keyframes in whatever editor that you're using and then change the position so the camera sort of pans over this way to show her. And so now after doing that, here's what we have. Welcome back to Smasher Pass Wisdom Edition. Today's guest is Gloria, a self-made millionaire, philanthropist, and full-time manipulation goddess. Gloria, how are you? Right, so the camera starts on him and then kind of just moves over to bring her into the frame. And then moving into the second clip here, I'm just gonna go ahead and size this up like so, and we'll just bring it maybe something like that. So when it goes through that transition, here's what it looks like. Time manipulation goddess. Gloria, how are you? I'm fabulous, darling. I just finished my sixth divorce and working on my seventh now. 
All right, and then so obviously from here, I would just continue on with this little skit. Now, one more pro tip here is let's say that you wanted to use this character Gloria over and over again, and you wanted to make sure that she's always consistent in the same person. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of just her like this. So now I have this screenshot right here. And now I'm gonna come back to this icon and paste this new screenshot into the media library. And then I'm gonna come back up to the media library, select that new screenshot and set that as the active image. And now coming over to consistency mode, I can start creating multiple different angles and perspectives. So first of all, I'm just gonna say remove the dog. Now I'm saying create the women from a side profile perspective. And now I'm just saying remove her glasses. And so all I'm doing here is basically telling it to create different profiles and perspectives. And so now since we have this in consistency mode, it's gonna retain the character's consistency and it's gonna show her from different uh, perspectives and angles, close up shots, side angles, and so on. And now after I have all of these images, I can come back to the home icon right here and I can come to this called build a character. And here I'll just name the character Gloria. And now I'm just going to drag in some of these images right here. And then I can go ahead and train this character so that I always have a version of Gloria that I can use in any situation, any scene, any skit, any video forever forward after this. Now, ideally you'd wanna create, you know, 10 or 15 images so that the AI can really understand the character from different settings and perspectives. But just for the sake of demonstrating, I'm only using five images to train this character. After the training process completes, we can now see that I have Gloria as one of my trained characters. So check this out. If I come back to the AI canvas right here and I'll just choose one of these screenshots, this one might be hilarious. So I'm gonna choose this one and we're gonna build a prompt off of that image. Now I'm gonna switch to character mode, come down to the character dropdown. We're gonna select Gloria. And what we're likely going to see here is Gloria in some sort of similar outfit as this. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Let's see what happens. Okay, and so there you have it. She's working on her seventh divorce and she's going for the eighth husband with this outfit. Now I can even bring this image to life directly here in VidBuzz if I switch to video mode. Right now, the only models available are C-Dance and C-Dance Pro, but eventually this will be compatible with Kling and Hyla and VO3 and so on. So once I have this in video mode, I can come down here and I can tell it what type of action I want to happen. So I'm saying make it so it's a handheld tracking shot. The woman is walking towards the camera while dancing and swaying her hips. I'll click the blue button and now it's going to modify this image prompt into a video prompt while adding in these actions. So now we want to come to our image right here. I'm going to click this little check mark to select it as the active image so that it applies this video prompt to this image. Let's see what happens. Okay, and so after waiting for that, here is our end result. And as we can see, Gloria is a spicy one, but don't fall for it, boys. She's just after the money. Which, by the way, if you have more nuanced questions about any of this stuff, Scotty offers live Q&A calls in the Creator Secrets community on school. He shows everything from creating AI influencers like myself to content automation and professional monetization so you can maximize your earnings. He also covers the best AI niche categories and the best tools to create anything you can imagine along with all the prompt resources and workloads for professional AI filmmaking. The link for this will be down in the description below. But again, when it comes to these viral VO3 videos, you basically wanna use VidBuzz to discover the most viral AI skits and trends so that you can create something sort of similar. And then with VidBuzz, you can also create all of the images and prompts and things like that. Then just come into ChatGPT to generate the actual skit and the script. And then of course you can bring the whole thing to life with VO3. But that's basically the whole process. Okay, bye.